I don't know if you've ever tried to win the lottery or played Super Lotto. I have. I've never won. But there is a lotto that I know about that you can win every single time. I want to talk about it. It's this lotto. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit. I don't know if it's ever really called lotto, L-O-T-O, but that's lockout, tagout. It's a safety procedure, and it works. When we have you do the lesson to install the solar breaker, we have you install a lockout device on that solar breaker. We have you lock it off, and we even have you padlock it to make sure it stays off. I don't know if many of you do this, and that's why I want to talk about it, because it's best practice. And I want to go over the idea of lockout, tagout in the context of solar installations. Okay, so first of all, what is lockout, tagout? Uh, it's typically defined as a procedure that prevents the unexpected startup or release of energy, in our case we're worried about electrical energy, that could cause injury by placing a lock or a warning tag on an isolation device, like a switch or a circuit breaker. And there is that distinction between lockout, which is the placement of a lockout device, typically a lock, and tagout, which is the placement of a special tag that gives warning not to operate something. I'm going to focus on the lockout side of this whole thing because that's more secure and only going to talk about it specifically in terms of making our solar systems safe while they're being installed. Here's a super important principle of lockout tagout safety. Each person working on equipment or a circuit that's dangerous must place their own locks and tags to ensure their own safety. Only the person doing the work holds a key to their lock and can remove it. So here's a real-world example. This is a circuit breaker that's been locked out. And you can see there's a single lock put on. There's a single person involved. And you can see the information tag that's put there. It says who's doing it, so who's got the key, and identifies people that, you know, you're not to operate this, and I'm the only one that can unlock it. Just to show a different example, here's a locked-out circuit breaker with two locks. Now, presumably, that means there's two people who are working on the circuit, are down line, whose lives might be in danger, and both of them have to unlock the, the device before it can be used. So there's an example of how it's super safe because one can unlock it, but the other one also has to unlock it as well. And it can go on and on. I mean, here's an example where there's a breaker locked out with three locks, okay? So there's three individual keys and three individual people that have to all agree and unlock the device before that circuit can be re-energized. It's just a way to make sure that anyone who might be involved downline gives the go-ahead by unlocking their lock to say it's okay to energize this circuit. The locks fit into this thing. It's typically called a hasp. Uh, it's got multiple holes for multiple locks. Open it up, slip it through what you want to lock out, close it up, and then you can slip in, in this case, up to six different locks for six different people. And this is the information tag that's included as well. Uh, notifies people what's going on. And typically you always want to put your name on it, uh, maybe the time or the date that you put it on, and uh, maybe a phone number or something for getting in touch with you, so that people can know who it is that's locked it out. This is the particular model that we chose in our lesson, uh, but there's all kinds of designs for these uh, breaker lockout devices. Here's just a few more examples just to show you the different types that you can get that are designed to screw onto and lock off that uh, break that circuit breaker handle and keep it safe. And just to show you in our typical solar electric systems, it's not just the solar breaker you might want to lock out. Here's the NAC disconnect, for example, that could be locked out as well. It might be done during installation or it might be done during some sort of maintenance procedure. Anytime that the electrician or the person working on the circuit just wants to make sure that when it's off, it stays off until they say it comes back on. So that's a little bit about how you can play this lotto, but it's not a game of chance. The whole idea of this lockout tag out at the solar breaker is to make sure that that electrician and anybody else that might come in contact with that solar electric circuit downline from that solar breaker is safe from utility power until the electrician says that the system is done and ready for commissioning. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right.
To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.